So, you know, I was, as I was saying, I like the talk radio. That's what you were saying. That's what I was saying, and I, I, I'm very excited to be home on uh, Tuesday. I think we'll be home because I can tune back into my favorite station. My favorite. We're home Monday. No, we're not home Monday. If we're home Monday, I'll pay you a dime. From <laughs> American or Canadian? Is that, American, uh, is that installments or a lump sum? <laughs> but I was saying... You really put yourself out on the line on that one, did you? Sure did. That's Math a Matheson bets a dime. Syracuse, 97. <laughs> that's, that's called the gentleman's bet. Uh, Cal, is there anything you can do to take the muck out of the middle of my voice so that I can really hone in on the pitch, eh, buddy? You're a great sound man. Cal, bring, bring some Cal's just in. But the talk radio uh, that I listen to is WIUV because it's, it's entirely concerned with questions of the heart. It's all about mending that broken heart. 24 hours a day, there's advice for the love Lord on there. WIUV. We know that one. WIUV. W love. W -love. W -love. W -love. When we listen to when you're driving in. That's right. The one with, strangely, with the American call letters, but we get it up there. Yeah. We think it comes from the border town. We think it comes from somewhere. Uh, uh, somewhere. What's the theme? You want to play? You, you yeah. Know. Oh, yeah, F, F major 7. <laughs> Where a love talk is neat, confidential, discreet, it's W-L-U-V. With the award-winning Love Lines and your host, Troy Thomas. Hi, I'm Troy Thomas, and you're listening to Love Lines tonight. As always, talking about love, sex, and relationships. And our first caller tonight is Tim. Go ahead, Tim. Hi, Troy. Hello, Tim, you're on Love Lines. Yeah, um, first time caller. Um, Great. Uh, my, I, I had this problem with my girlfriend, well actually my ex-girlfriend and I, uh, what happened was, um, I used to, we used to hang out and... Tim, I'm going to cut you off there. Um, a lot of my male callers fall with this very problem, and uh, what I say to them is, masturbate before you date. Okay? <laughs> masturbate before you date, and that'll help you last a little bit longer no, with uh, that special someone. Yeah, actually, um, sorry, actually that's, not, that's not the problem right now. What happened was... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, what happened was my uh, ex girlfriend, well, yeah, my ex girlfriend and I, you know, um, I mean, we had a really good time, you know, we got along really well. We were allies, we actually political allies when we went right. to school together, and um, we had a great, you know, I remember this one time we went to Niagara Falls. Uh, what's your question for, for me, Tim? Well, it's just that um, now she's dating this materialistic, careerist, ladder climbing, rich asshole. Tim, like, I really Tim, feel like. Tim. Tim. Troy? Tim, Troy? Tim? Are you there, Tim? Troy? <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought, here, Troy. I, I thought we got cut off. I'm sorry. No. And, and you're still there, okay. I feel like Tim. I can see you, in fact. <laughs> Tim? Troy? I feel close to you as well. Yes. Okay? Let's just focus on your problem. Okay. And she's dating this rich careers yeah, I, asshole. I, I heard you. I yeah. heard you. Yes. Reiterating for right, the sake right. of the listeners. Right, right, yeah. right. I think it's best for them that we press on at yeah. this point. Tim, what would you say to her right now? But she's not here. I mean, I'm not, you know. <laughs> Buddy. No, listen, it's a hypothetical question. What would you say to her if she were here? Right well, now? it was me. And Jack, I went your new buddy taco. No cuss for a mom, without the on his arm. You said the politics matter, but we're all getting fatter. You take what you get, and this Republican man. Well, have you really changed that much in school? When any Nazi couldn't swim in your pool? Your new boyfriend's a bitch. Oh, they 